Hi, my name is Benjamin Atkinson and I'm the head horse trainer here at Atkinson Action Horses. Here at Atkinson Action Horses, we train horses for film, television and live events, not only for the UK, but for all over the globe. Ranging from liberty work like what we're doing here with these guys completely loose, to large jousts if we're international tournaments like at the Leeds Royal Armouries, or even on the small screen or silver screen with shows like Poldark, Peaky Blinders and ITV Victoria. We started training horses around 19 years ago when we first started providing horses for English Civil War battle reenactments. And as time went on, and as the jobs came in, we expanded and expanded until we were the company that we are today. At any one time, we can have between 50 and 60 horses working with us here at our base in East Yorkshire, ranging from tiny Shetlands to large draft horses. Out of all of those equestrian athletes, we have around 20 horses that have perfected the art of the medieval joust to cope with the armour, the clash of lances, and above all, the excitement of the crowd. When we think of jousting horses, or medieval war horses, we're often led to believe that they were the giant shire horses that we'd see pulling ploughs throughout England in our history. In fact, that's completely wrong. Goloso here is an Andalusian. He's a purebred Spanish horse. He's actually a lot more like what you'd see on the medieval battlefield. If you look at him, he's, he's not even that tall, maybe 15 hands, but what he does have is perfectly proportioned body and all the right muscles in all the right places. Spanish horses are also famed for their bravery and courage in battle and their willingness to please their masters. Now, in many ways, that would make him the ideal jousting horse, but these days, breeds have advanced so much. We have many breeds now that they didn't even dream of back then. And so when looking for the qualities of a jousting horse, we actually try and consider more what's inside their brain than what their body's made of. We're looking for a horse that can think through pressure, that can stay calm in a stressful situation, and that's definitely not gonna be a bad ride when their knight really needs to make those points. So how long does it take to train a jousting horse? How long is a piece of string? Every horse is individual. Every horse will tackle each stage of its training in its own time and with different challenges and skills. Now we have a certain amount of skills and training methods that we use to prepare a jousting horse. Some of these are as old as the joust itself. We use running at the rings, the quintain, and other skill at arms, which is using weapons from horseback to get the horse used to the idea of these things moving around their heads and ears and to be comfortable with these swinging weapons. And then also, we're gonna get the horses used to the loud bangs of the lances crashing and the crowd applauding. Then finally, we can get the horses to begin to run towards each other down the lists before eventually moving to a full joust. So we've talked about the horses a lot, but what do we expect from the riders? who take part in the joust, when we let them ride our horses. What we're looking for is, is a kind and courteous rider, one who's going to ask about what the horse goes like or what that horse needs to perform his best, not come and tell us how they like to ride. You're looking for someone that's going to work with the horse, and not try and force them to do anything. Patience is the best quality in a horseman, always.